One more quick question. Um, so the U.S. Navy apparently late last week assisted a, a disabled Iranian fishing boat in the Persian Gulf. I was just wondering, can you talk to, is it a, as far as U.S. policy a requirement to help those in distress on the high seas? It's not a uh, foreign policy requirement. It is, however, um, a common practice of, of all seagoing nations um, uh, that you help mariners in distress. Um, and uh, as I understand it, the, the, this was a destroyer, the USS Nitsi, um, and uh, the Navy routinely comes to the aid of, our Navy routinely comes to the aid of mariners in distress at sea, wherever they are around the world. I think in the Persian Gulf, uh, uh, they've done more than 30 or so uh, of these types of uh, assistance operations in just the last several years. Um, and uh, I've been given to understand that almost half of them have been for Iranian sailors. Um, and this, in this case, I think it, they, they were fishermen. Um, but this is a common, time-honored, um, humanitarian practice of mariners at sea. It's not just the U.S. Navy that does it. Other navies do it. In fact, uh, other civilian seagoing mariners do it. The sea is an uh, unforgiving environment. Um, and the situation can change uh, in a nanosecond at sea. Um, and so when you come across somebody in distress or in trouble at sea, you, whoever you are, have an obligation to reach out and to help them, and that's what our Navy did in this case. Even though it doesn't seem that reciprocal on their end, I mean, given their capture of our sailors. Well, again, I, you know, uh, there is a, again, this is a time-honored practice and custom at sea. Um, um, I've lived it, I've seen it myself, um, and uh, it's something that uh, all mariners need to take seriously, should take seriously. I can tell you that our U.S. Navy certainly does, and they've proven that over and over again, not just uh, in the area of the Persian Gulf, but, but around the world.